Some of those unhappy with the city's school reopening plans are urging the education department to think outside the box and outside the classroom. We're all in this moment where like our mental health is really suffering um, and there's really something to be said for the outdoors. Teacher Liat Olenek and two of her colleagues penned an op-ed calling for the city to consider outdoor learning for elementary school students in parks, along closed city streets and on rooftops, all places the virus is less likely to spread than indoors. Outdoor classes are a hallmark of some pricey progressive private schools. And Olenek hopes with support, it could be an option for students across the city. It's just one idea, she says, and the DOE should be soliciting others. Every single teacher I know has ideas based on their own experience. I like still cannot comprehend how from the moment this started in March, there has been one three question survey for school, three multiple choice questions for school staff. Current plans call for most students to learn in school and at home on alternating days, leaving parents worried about how they'll find childcare or the time to guide children through their lessons. Brooklyn Councilman Mark Traeger, a former teacher, proposes having high schoolers who are more adept at online learning learn from home five days a week. That would allow the education department to use high school space to allow elementary school students, many of whom are still just learning to read, to attend full time in person. The child development needs of a five year old are far greater than of a 17 year old. From a parent's perspective, I don't think you have to hire a babysitter for a 16 or 17 year old like you would probably have to for a five or six year old. The mayor has said he's considering child care options for working parents this fall, but has provided no details. Councilman Ben Kalos has an idea. Any New Yorker can tell you if they walk outside their door, there's an empty storefront. Can we turn those empty storefronts into distance learning centers and uh, have a place where folks can drop off their kids from 7 a.m. 7 p.m. The education department says it's been discussing plans in focus groups with principals, teachers, parents, and health experts, and will announce childcare options in the coming days. Jillian Jorgensen, New York One.